What's up YouTube, this is your boy G back on another video. So today we're just gonna unbox this um, carrying bag for Steam Deck from JSOX. I'm going to put the link down in the description below. So if you're interested, you just go ahead and uh, check it out. It looks like it can carry other stuff as well, aside from Steam Deck. So we're going to check that out. Now, before we proceed, by the way, um, if you're into Steam Deck or PlayStation 5, things like that, or overall gadgets and uh, stuff, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free, of course. I do unbox a lot of stuff there that I purchase and, you know, company sends me. And uh, recently, I've been creating some contents from Steam Deck as well, right? So if you're uh, into that, you can go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much in advance. Okay, so when you open it up like that, um, you will see this bag right away inside this plastic thingy here. All right, nothing much here. It's just some user guide if you need that, All right? So it's protected by the plastic, you know, to avoid dirt and stuff there. But the bag is actually pretty big, right? Um, I thought it's, it's small or, you know, a little bit smaller, but it's actually big. Now, if you notice, the Steam Deck itself is already big, right? Quite big. And uh, it looks like it's going to fit in there, right? It, it's perfect on its size. By the way, this is a 64 gig model, but I'm using a, an anti-glare uh, matte screen protector from JSOX as well. So again, I'm going to put in the link if you're interested. But let me go ahead and um, inspect the body of this bag. Right in front, there's a JSOX, of course, they're really proud on the branding there. But there's a little uh, design of the material. It's kind of like a, is it honeycomb, right? Or something like that. It's patterned, so it's not plain, right? It's good. It's actually very grippy here. Right? It's not slippery. And it looks like it's a, it's a rubber or something like that you know in the material right it's it's very very good in the hand it's not slippery right in that front you have that hard shell right to protect the stuff and then you do have this um zippers here uh there are inverted zippers by the way so it looks cool right their their uh, body is not exposed they're inverted as you know and um let's go ahead and open that very first one now this is interesting to me, when you open up the first pocket there, there's a, some garters, you know, from both sides here to prevent this from going or from opening all the way. I'm not sure if I like it, you know, if I like that mechanic there. I think I would have loved this if I can actually lay it down like that, but these aren't detachable as well. It's permanently in there just to check so i may end up cutting this you know uh, both of these one day just to be able to open it up all the way now of course they probably have their reason in doing that so your your things inside will not just you know open all the way and fall into uh, your table now this is a strap that you can add on the body kind of like diagonal part of it to add more security on the bag itself, right? So aside from just uh, wrapping it from your shoulder to your side, you can add that strap so that it can go from your middle to side as if you're like God of War, right? God of War, not God of War. You know, like Kratos armor. You also have this. This is actually the one that you attach on the bottom, right? This is like the second half. So if you notice here, there's no um, strap on the bottom out of the box right just in front or just on the top this is the one that will lock into place like so yep if you're comfortable in putting it on like left side of your body or on the right side you can do that you cannot put it on the you know on both of them it's not going to be like a sling bag anymore but if it's like this you can definitely use it and Still put it in your body but again see see this right i cannot open it all the way so we'll have to check from top so you do have some pocket here where you can put some stuff you know like charger cables and whatnot you also have some um, smaller pockets here um, you can put like again power banks small power banks and something like for example i do have this uh, fan from jsox so you can just simply throw it in there or 
put it on one of the uh, pockets here for example like so it's gonna fit like that and it will still be able to cover that because that is still again hard shell so you do have four pockets there if you notice one two from the top two from the bottom right a little bit longer on the bottom now after that we have the main uh, body here all right that opens a little bit bigger and still it's still using this straps and it's not gonna open all the way in right i wish they could have like just uh, put the um latch from the side right like open it open it this way like an attache case i think that would be better um than this one if you do have like the um uh default padding there if you can see that right so if you do have your Steam Deck, it looks like the default case, it will hold that. Um, some activated carbon as well. And nothing much, right? You do have the belt if you want to put, uh, or if you, to make sure that your Steam Deck is secured. So basically, you put your Steam Deck here, and then you strap it here, right? And then you close it like that. From the back, you have one last pocket there small stuff where you can put your wallet right your 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 money your cards or whatever you need um, thin enough that will fit that but let me go ahead and try this now take note i'm using a case right now right now this is the mod case from uh, you know from jsox as well there is a stand here and there's even this middle part so it's a little bit bulky right and I think it's not gonna fit, but let's go ahead and try it out. All right, well, actually it fits. Um, the pocket for the Steam Deck itself, it's pretty big, right? You can see some, you know, um, dents inside, some shape to contour to the body, but with the case itself, it's pretty big. You know, it will still fit it's still flushed and yeah, ain't moving it's pretty secured because of this especially if we close it now let's go ahead and close it and let's see if the uh top part will actually depress right so much on the body i know it's actually perfect right now i can definitely pull it wow i actually like the the feet of the steam deck itself right the actual fit of it it's pretty secure now the one that are moving are the zippers let me try to hold them if you notice you won't really hear the steam deck moving itself it's pretty secure right uh, i can hear the carb uh, you know the activated carbon but it's pretty secure now with the steam deck on this part of the pocket Again here you know being secured like that you can yeah right, you have the entire other pocket for your other stuff right and this is actually pretty big I thought this is for steam deck the one that's protecting but these are actually for accessories so you can put everything here now like your power banks your stuff and for example I can even put this in right this is the top of the mod case I can put it here if I wanted to, and will it will still fit, right? like so, or actually put it on the um, Steam Deck itself. You don't really need it anymore if it's inside a bag, but it fits. Also, you can put the, uh, again, this fan that I uh, mentioned earlier here, right? Even though it's a little bit bulky, you can still close that and it will still fit it's pretty big actually. looking good the the material is really good now one last thing to note though i uh, just to take note um it's pretty obvious but the actual um case right the default case or you know like the bag of the steam deck won't really fit on this so i don't know if there's someone there out there that is interested in knowing that see we can just easily grab this thing that there it's pretty secured but yeah the bag itself is so big 
it's so bulky that as a matter of fact it's almost as wide as the JSOX uh, sling bag already so if you're thinking of putting is putting this default bag in here you're out of luck because it won't fit right that is too big for you and again there's no point of putting that bag after bag so it's either this or that and I will I will absolutely choose this because it has a lot of other compartment for other stuff all right but that's the JSOX um, sling bag right from JSOX again I purchased this myself I think I purchased it for $45 but just go ahead and check out in the link in the description below it's on their official website so this is not a sponsored video or anything again I purchased this from my own uh, money but yeah I, I definitely recommend this for someone that is into sling bags or body bags because it, it feels good in the body as a matter of fact and you can really feel that your steam deck is there and protected so yep I love it I like it but that's all for today guys thanks so much for watching uh, click the like down below if you like this video uh, comment down below if you have any questions any comments regarding this JSOX or any other video that I had there I'll just check my comments so I'll check it out and uh, respond to you subscribe to the channel again if you're into this um, gadget or steam deck ps5 I upload a lot of um, contents regarding them but thanks so much for watching stay safe and see you on my next one Peace.